Hi students, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss Antamoeba Histolytica Life Cycle. So, Life Cycle is going to be a slow Antamoeba Histolytica introduction to the video. So, students, if you want to subscribe to our channel, please like and share the video. So, if you want to observe the life cycle of Antamoeba Histolytica, you will see the stages of the life So, it is a protozoan parasite. It causes amoebic dysentery or amoebiasis. So, disease is amoebiasis. One more name is amoebic dysentery. So, protozoan parasite that belongs to the phyla protozoa. Then, subphylum sarcomastigophora. Then, class rhizopodia. So, systematic position of protozoan parasite that is entamoeba histolytica. Enta amoeba. Amoeba shape known to be enta means within an anthem. Histo means tissue. Lytic means breakdown of the tissue. So, what is the disease and parasite of the character? So, first it is a macroscopic form, monogenetic parasite. That means it completes its life cycle in a single host. So, if you are a human being, it will complete its life cycle. That's why it is called as monogenetic parasite. So, macroscopic, structure and microscopic. Inhabits in the large intestine. So, it is present in large intestine. When Oscar is choosing it like the small intestine, now it is present in the large intestine. It causes amoebiasis. One more name is amoebic dysentery. So, symptoms, pathogenicity, AMM, and the other. So, infection, mode of infection, contaminated food and contaminated water. So, contaminated food and water will reach an update. Maybe infected states are reached to the large intestine. So, house flies, cockroaches are act as a mechanical vectors. So, there is no any development of parasite in the mechanical vectors. Only they transmit the Parasites from one person to the other persons. So, parasitic development and the ADL in a 21 mechanical vector symptom like cockroaches couch, house price couch. So, then the antamoeba histolytica is someone in GV mechanical vector. So, antamoeba histolytica life cycle, one of the first stages, there are three phases or three stages in the life cycle. So, one that is a trophojoid stage, pre-cystic stage, cystic stage, trophojoid stage, Three cystic stages, cystic stages. There are three phases or three stages present in the entomeba histolytic. And these three forms are in the entomeba histolytic. Maybe it may be trophojoid stages, pre cystic stages, or the cystic stages. These three stages are in the absorption. So, I will show the present trophojoid structure. So, I will show the main two structures. I will show the rose class trophojoid stages. So, here there is an outermost layer, so it is trophojoid structure or trophojoid stays. Here there is trophic nutrition and other, trophic that means nutritive phase. So, there is a few characteristic features, very very important, this is what you want to do. So, first in trophojoid stays, the outermost cover is called as plasma lemma. So, membrane is called as lemma. So, entamoeba, amoeba shape low not only, intestinal not only, but the entamoeba and chip. So, then the anterior end of the trophojoid, there is one locomotor organ that is a pseudopodium, also called as lobopodium, blunt finger like not only, that's what is called as lobopodium. Then, there are two cytoplasms, outer ectoplasm and endoplasm. Then, food vacuums are present with different stages and different type of food particles engulfed in the food vacuums. Then ribosomes also present in this endoplasm. Food vacuum with bacteria. There is one characteristic feature that is cartwheel shaped nucleus is present in the, this trophojoid stage. So, in trophojoid stage, we will consider the characteristic features in the identification of the It is most active form. So, there is a lot of food and 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 food. Then feeding and pathogenic stages. So, baga food ni collectes so size increases. Then pathogenic stage that means it causes some disease that is amoebiasis condition in the end of the leg. Then mucosa, submucosa membranes of the large intestine. It resides in the mucosa, submucosa. So, manam large intestine layers which is not like the mucosa, submucosa layers of the histogeic parasite. Akkar unntu 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 un so, mucosa layer, submucosa layer, membranes of the large intestine. So, children, the ectoplasm and endoplasm ki characteristic feature is shift na. Outer, this is outer region. Then clear, there is no any granules. So, viscous, non-granular ectoplasm. This part work, 
outer clear viscous non granular ectoplasm it long term then inner fluid like that means it in the inner that is fluid in the shape fluid like granular ectoplasm there are some cytoplasm granules are present in the inner endoplasm so ecto endoplasm ila differentiate chestunnaru granular aithene mo inner ectoplasm non granular aithe outer region ga then it is and so there are some cell arteries are absent in the entamoeba trophozoite stage so contractile vacuoles contractile vacuoles are absent then endoplasm reticulum also absent valve apparatus is also absent in the trophozoite stage so the basically mitochondria is also absent so mitochondria ledante there is no respiration cellular respiration is absent in trophozoite stage so that's why it is called as obligate anaerobic so must should be the anaerobic respiration conduct is called in there there is no mitochondria there is no cellular respiration in the entamoeba histolytica trophozoite stage then it secretes some enzyme that is histolysis that way the name is assigned to it histolytica histo means tissue histolysis in enzyme break down the tissue so automatically it is called as a histolytica so they secrete histolysis so if ever it na histolysis secrete chesthe mucosal sub mucosal layers break down hote and it is holozoic nutrition mode mode of nutrition achi holozoic anta that means it takes some solid food particles as it is as its food so solid particles like uh, em em iskunna what in iskuntu untunna so ikkada entamoeba histolytic trophozoite stage lo there are some food vacuoles so our food vacuoles are some filled with the bacteria some are filled with the rbc vacuole lo rbc untam then dantho patu bacteria kan any type of food materials are engulfed by the food vacuoles so on that condition ni manam solid food particles ni iskuntunna kabatti we can say holozoic nutrition lo cheptunna then so what is the characteristic features or prominent characters of the trophozoite and appudu we can say presence of rbc in food vacuole suppose it is a uh, vacuole food vacuole is filled with the rbc then cartwheel shaped nucleus this is cartwheel shaped nucleus present in the trophozoites these two are prominent characters to identify the trophozoite stages then remaining two stages pre cystic stages cystic stages gurinchi manam next video lo chuddam thank you for watching